This morning we have moved a little bit further west uh, from Grytviken and uh, we did an early morning landing here at the second largest king penguin colony on the whole island at Salisbury Plain. And the king penguin is unique in, in the bird group uh, having such a strange breeding cycle which actually extends over more than one year. And today we have seen to the birds, as I said, with eggs uh, still incubating. Uh, they probably laid the egg here in uh, November, maybe early December, into December. They will be about to hatch there. And the chick actually spends the winter here, more or less standing alone with all the other chicks. It's just so primeval and it's tremendously entertaining. There's a group of penguins that picks a better crossing and then a huge group comes this way, the hardest way possible. They do constant face plants in the mud and have to struggle up with their flippers and their beaks. And, and then the clean ones are going the other direction from the sea back up over here. So it's just constantly entertaining. <laughs> They are beautiful and majestic on land, but they're really graceful in the water. You spend so much time on land watching the animals, and today for the first time when I was out in the Zodiac, Eric stopped and, and let us watch as the penguins were swimming around, and there's, um, you know, there's so many penguins here, so there's quite a number in the water as well. And I didn't expect to see what a difference that they look like on land than they look like in the water. But I don't really know what it was, but as I just kept watching them circle and circle and in an amount of time, it was, I don't know, it was really beautiful. I started to cry. <laughs> True, I don't know why, but...